The Dow down nearly 800 points. What have happened to that Trump trade war truce rally? Our banks, could they cop it? US banks copped it overnight. And finally, we get national accounts, which means economic growth numbers. Will they be strong or will they be weaker? I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Rickard. And we're mad mad about about money. money. And I'm really mad about this, Paul. Uh, you know, Trump, the trade war truce, should have been a rally. Whatever happened to it? I'm just admiring your phrase, the Trump trade war truce rally. I thought that was a, that's a big phrase. Good alliteration. Good alliteration. Um, look, uh, the US came and went. Um, hmm. Look, what we've seen in the US, of course, is a little bit of concern about the yield curve. It's more about is the US economy starting to not has it peaked? Hmm. You know, I don't think the word slowing is yet in the vocabulary, but um, Again, come back to the, the, the trade truce. It is running for 90 days, and there have been some conflicting statements about those. But uh, and the starting date. Did you, did you pick that up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 90 days from when the dinner was held, which yeah. I think was what they always said, but uh, Larry Cudlow perhaps didn't get the full briefing. No, so. no, January 1, he's, and a lot of people thought it was January 1 when Larry said that, and now it's December 1. Yeah. So it's a shorter truce. Shorter truce. Um, I, think, I think, look, we got probably more worried about that than the, than the Yanks. I mean, mm-hmm. the Yanks, are, I think, are looking, as you said, perhaps more at the... Uh, at the economy and whether the economy, you know, the, the Fed's saying that interest rates are getting close to neutral. That's obviously started to make people think. Oh, no, 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 Bella, you're too early. Um, but, you know, look, look, the markets, I, I guess fundamentally what's happening is there's a bit of de-weighting occurring from equities as people take some risk off the table. And I yeah. think that's sort of what's happening a bit in our market as well. We've seen some of the fund managers talk about just yeah. moving a little bit more into cash. And I think that's the underlying issue, maybe they've been starting to sense that the markets have peaked or come yeah. close to a peak. Yeah, well, one of the stories out was the bond market, short term rates were higher than longer term rates. And when the yield curve points down because short term are higher than long term rates, there's a suggestion that's a pointer to a recession coming. And you, both you and I think recession probably 2020 is a possibility, but not next year. So this market is jumping at shadows. It is jumping. It's more pointing to the fact that the, maybe the economy Peak growth is behind it, yeah. and things are going to be just, just because it's reached its natural level of it can't grow at any much faster rate. It's just going to make it a little harder yeah. next next year or the next couple of years. That's what it's pointing to. Okay. Look, the don't get too carried away about the bond markets. Bond markets get things as wrong as as, as many times as equity markets do. But yeah. you know, clearly, what it's saying is that. It comes back to what the Fed says. Interest rates may not go that much higher. Mm. Uh, maybe the economy start, will, will find it a little harder in the US in the next 12 months. That means it'll be tougher to keep earnings r- growth rates at the same sort of levels we've seen in 2018. Yeah, because in February, the bond market was worried about inflation and rapidly yep. rising they interest were, rates. We were, we were talking about uh, inflation. And the market was so now off. Now we're talking about recession and, 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 and uh, inflation is going to be lower. So, yeah. look, I, I think you've got to just be a bit sanguine about this sort of stuff but just go with the flow here and it's, it's really you know as i said more about u.s uh, fund managers starting to think the economy going to be a little tougher going forward maybe we've seen the peak in equity markets and yeah. perhaps it's time to take some money off, off the, the table, table. that's yeah. really what this is about peter and i think the others are just factors that we're yeah. coming up with to explain oh. why it moves 800 points last night okay before we go I, I still think this is going to be a correction and there'll be a buying opportunity. Paul, is this a correction? I, I still think so. I mean, five, six hundred is, is a big level on our market, which is where we bounced the other week. Mm. It's did a lot of work there on the way up. We'll be testing that around today. US is closed tomorrow, Peter. Mm. We saw, I think, some of the sell-off yesterday and ahead of this. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be a little bit tempered. I don't think we're going to go uh, 3% in our market today. But, but people will also be a bit... The, the, the shorties will be a bit nervous yeah. because the US will be closing tomorrow for the uh, you know, George, George Bush, Bush Jr. Senior. So, senior. so yeah. look, I, I don't, let's just see how it happens. But it's obviously going to be a tough day in our market to start. Okay, with. quickly, uh, ring the bell. Yeah. Uh, the banks, the banks, uh, the cop in America, will we cop it here today? Well, think? banks didn't really go up. They underperformed on, on the last couple of three days mm. uh, as, the, as the market came back into the so-called resource stocks. Yeah. We saw a bit of a weakness yesterday. Banks in Australia are a little different, Peter. The U- U- US, you know, in the way that the banking market works in the US, of course, a lot of banks have fixed term lending. Yeah. Mortgages tend to be priced off, off bond rates, not opposed to our rate, which is the bill rate or the cash rate. So it's a very different equation when it comes to banks' net interest margin and the shape of the yield curve. So yeah. it's a negative in the US, not such a big issue in Australia. Will we get caught up in the headline, banks were down 4%? Well, they'll, they'll probably open a bit weaker, Peter, yeah. but 
I'd be surprised if we see the same damage here in the banks. Okay, one, one final thing. You can ring the bell now. One final one is national accounts. They come out today. Economic growth, expected to be over 3%. The market will be really disappointed if it's not 3% plus. Yeah, look, uh, and look, it will be. I mean, uh, again, I'm not sure the market's too worried about it, Pet. I mean, no. but uh, look, the accounts are strong uh, and we're seeing the Reserve Bank remains pretty bullish if you read a statement yesterday. Yeah. Just not yet translating a lot into uh, into, into company earnings mm. per se, but... Uh, well, we'll find out in February. We'll, February could we'll, be a surprise. We'll find out in February whether just how important this economy has been to mm. uh, to company earnings. So in a perfect world, this, this terrible sell-off could create a fantastic buying opportunity. Then in February, companies come out and report really well on the strength of the, the improving economy, and we can make a lot of money. That, I hope it's the perfect world, Peter. I, I think in the meantime, I think a lot of people just Kind of sit on their hands. And yeah. I, I think that's a bit the way I feel. I don't yeah, feel any too. urgency, but look, let's watch the five, six hundred level a day, and uh, I think we'll get a sense whether this this correction continues or is it more than a correction. I hope it's not a uh, crash, Paul. I hope it's a correction. I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Rico. and we're, we're mad, mad about, about money. Content has been prepared without taking account of an individual's financial objectives, needs, or financial situation. It does not constitute formal advice. Before acting, any individual should consider the appropriateness of the information, having regard to the individual's financial situation, needs and financial objectives. Past performance is not a guide for future performance. AFSL 286531.